Welcome. This is the RPA champion and in today's video you will learn how to generate a QR code. Now QR codes can be used for different purposes. They can be used to redirect a user to a link. Once they scan it with their cell phone, they can be used to contain passwords, keys or any kind of information. Now in today's video you will learn how to generate a QR code. But not only that, we will take it one step further. We will also we will see how to extract information from a Google Sheet document. We will see how to uh, automatically uh, go through a Google Sheet document. And for each user that we have in our Google Sheet, we will insert or generate a different key, a different QR code that we we'll save as a JPEG. We will update this list if uh, and send the user an email containing the attached file. And we will also save the generated code inside of a Google Drive folder now all of this sounds like a mouthful but before we start developing and building we'll build this in a couple of minutes so no worries before we start building let's just just test it and see if it works all right let's run this process and it has successfully obtained the information from the uh, google sheets now it's converting or creating documents maybe we can see so it is sending the email that is working and here we can already see the qr codes being generated now i have also received three emails there is no need to go check them out but this is the the qr code that you could scan with your phone and it will uh, contain the information that you have uh, that we have talked about so all right without further ado let's start building so let's create a new flow that's the first thing that we need to do and let's create a flow that is manually triggered let's name this flow qr converter qr converter excellent let's add the first step so the first step is going to be we need to get the uh, uh we need to get all of the users that we want to send the information for or generate the qr code so we're not going to be generating working only on one user we are going to be working on different users so we need to go to google sheets and we need to get all of the rows that are inside of our google sheet document so let's get all of the rows uh, what we do next is we need to pick a file and go inside of the folder where we have saved our folder so we go to qr code we select users we select the worksheet once we have selected the worksheet, we can also fine tune this with specific information like the skip and top, which basically lets allows you to skip the first row or uh, only use a total amount of rows. Now, the next step that we need to do is we need to generate our QR code, right? So let's add a new step. What we are going to be using to convert or generate the QR code, we're going to be using the API from Encodium. So we can search for Encodium uh, or we can just search for create QR code. Let's see if we can find it. Here we go. Create QR code from Encodium. So the barcode data. This value is the uh, data that we want our barcode to contain so that when we scan our barcode, this is the information that is going to contain. It can be a link or it can be whatever we want. However, we want this information inside of our barcode. So let's get it from the dynamically obtained fields from the get rows. So we have to get the QR code. Let's put the QR code and the magic of Power Automate allows us to put this inside of a loop. So it automatically does this. Why did it do that? Because here we have more than one row. We have three different rows. So it is going to repeat this step for three different rows. So the image format, let's select the image format as well. I will select a JPEG. And uh, here is a small little tip for you. Uh, remember to set the height of the image and also the width of the image. Otherwise, it is going to be a really small image. Excellent. The next step that we need to do is we need to create a file. All right, we have generated our QR code. It exists in nowhere. We need to put it somewhere. So we are going to create a file inside of Google Drive. So let's create file. And this file is going to be stored 
exactly where our previous uh, uh, where our uh, Google Sheets is document is. So it's going to be in the same folder. We can go to the same folder and we can select the same folder. Very well. Once the folder has been selected, we get the file name directly from our uh, Encodian API. So the file name of the document and the file content. This is pretty uh, self-explanatory. Now, if you want, we have already generated a QR code here. If I uh, save this and run it, it will already generate a QR code. So if you want, you can stop watching right now and you will have learned how to generate a QR code. But if you stick around for a little bit longer, and if you don't forget to subscribe, and if you subscribe to this channel, to my channel, the RPA Champion, you are going to learn another couple of few steps that are pretty cool. So the next thing that we are going to do is we're going to send an email with this uh, with this attachment. So we're going to uh, get this attachment and we're going to put it in an email. And after that, we're going to update our Excel sheet uh, or our Google sheet so that we say that we have sent an email. All right, let's see how that is done. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to get the uh, we need we need to get this file that we have created somehow. So uh, let's go to Drive and see what are the different uh, what are the different actions that we have available. So in Google Drive we have something that is called Get File Content Using ID. Now if we select that. And we go into the field ID and self-explanatorily we select the ID field here. This is going to allow us to get this file that we have just created and it was put inside of the uh, of the folder in Drive. Now, why is this useful? Because we want to get that file and we want to put it inside of an email. Excellent. So we are going to prepare an email with Gmail and let's... Uh, create email so let's send an email this subject of the email we can make it the username of uh, so it will be this username so this is going to be the subject and inside of the attachment name the attachment name as well is going to be the username and we will also make it dot jpeg very well and the attachment content is going to be the file content that we are getting from here. Uh, this is pretty much everything we need. The last step that we need to do is we need to update the role inside of this document that says that the email has been sent. Now, to do that, we need to add one more step, go into the Drive API. I like to call them API. Power Automate likes to connect, call them connectors. Call them whatever you want as long as you know what they're doing. So uh, here we need to update a row. So if we go and search for something that we could use. So let's see. Update file. We are looking for the wrong one. We should be adding the Sheets API. So let's see what we have in here. Update row. Exactly. This is what we are looking for. So once again, let's repeat the step. Let's select the file that we are interested in updating so it is right here the users file and let's select the worksheet and after that it is going to ask us for the row id this is the power apps id that is automatically generated and then it's going to ask us which field do we want to update and how do we want to update it well we're going to put here yes meaning that if this step completes successfully meaning if the email is sent it is going to go to this step and it's going to update the sheet with yes. This is going to make us give us the uh, security that this uh, process has successfully completed, that all the steps are run, and that also it has updated inside of here. So let's make sure that we don't have any files in here. So if I delete this and I save my process, now it's telling me that there is an error. Let's make sure where the error is. So we need to add a destination for our email that is going to be generated and created. Very well. Now let's save this. Let's test it and let's see the magic happen. Now, let me just remind you, it hasn't been not even 10 minutes and we have done something that traditionally would take much, much more time. Now, imagine if you had 100 QR codes to generate, it would take you a matter of 
seconds almost to generate some emails and update a document so uh, take this example apply to your workflows apply to your processes i hope this inspires you to build some real cool processes and we see it already it's running the first two steps have already been executed well the first doesn't take any time uh, it has gotten all of the information now let's just see what is happening it has managed to send the first email let's see here what is happening it is creating it hasn't still created any uh, any file now let's go back here and see that we have an error so why do we have an error because we have an issue with our filing name now let's do some debugging really quickly so let's see where the error was the error was in saving the file so when we save the file file name uh, here we have the file name so we don't want the file name because this file name is always going to be the same so let's change the file name and let's make the file name the username so that we can actually know exactly which file we are working with so here this actually has uh, has completed why because it has generated the first qr code but then going on to the second record meaning on to greg it wanted to generate the second qr code and save it in here with the same name but that's why we got the error so here's a little bit of live debugging i think i will leave it in the video just to give you guys an idea of how to debug live with power automate it can be uh, uh, it is also pretty easy but it can be sometimes a little bit frustrating so if uh, if this was useful i hope that it was useful so let's test this again and see what happens with our process fingers crossed this time that it is going to work properly all right let's test this process and let's see what we get so the process has been is running it has managed to get all of the rows let's see what is happening here it sent all of the emails very quickly and it has also generated all of the three files that we need so if we open one of these qr codes it contains if you scan it with your cell phone it will contain the information if you have liked this video please subscribe to the channel give me a thumbs up and i will see you in the next video thank you so much for watching